Lisa Vento Nielsen from The Next Step here. So today's um, blog post talks a lot about being a good coworker, and it talks about all the ideas that you dreaded while you were in school. Everybody hates doing a group project. I know this for a fact because as a professor, I'm constantly giving group projects and people are constantly telling me how much they hate them. The idea is that you hate them for a reason. Having to rely on other people to get things done is a bummer. And guess what? When you get into the corporate world, world, your whole life is going to revolve around waiting for other people to get things done. And the way for you to help yourself deal with this is to learn how to be a good coworker and also potentially learn how to motivate people, which is a future blog post that I'm working on. So for today's blog post in terms of knowing how to be a good coworker or a good co colleague is just about understanding how other people act together, understanding how to be professional, keeping it professional always, and really just not playing the blame game, being on time, being a go-to person, and trying to be positive always trying to see the silver linings and what's going on. So the, all that and more is in today's blog post. And I hope that you guys take it to heart and be ready for your careers and to be a good coworker. Lisa Vento Nielsen at The Next Step. More at thenextstep1234.com slash blog. Happy hunting.